Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. The Stone Country Art Studio Tour is starting at 10 a.m. this Saturday, and you can take part in a self guided driving tour of some of the area's best galleries. And joining us now is Marty Schmidt. Uh, Marty, so good to see you. And we were here looking at the art. Oh. You are an amazing artist, first of all. Mm -hmm. So thank you for coming in, and we're so excited to hear about this tour. Thank you. Yeah, it's our 17th year. Okay. And we have eight different studios that you can actually do a driving tour. Uh, take all day, just pick the ones you like. Mm -hmm. You know, um, two galleries are represented, and a host of artists. First of all, where does the tour start? Wherever you want it to. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, you can um, actually. Well, can I hold this up to camera? Look yes, at this right. amazing so we'll map. So get an idea where this is. Yes. So this is yeah. your driving map right here. Yeah. Right. Right here it is. And you can you can go on art tour studio art tour and get this map or take a picture of it right now. And it tells you where the studios are and that are participating. Okay. First of all, let's a lot of beautiful art here. Uh, let's talk about what you do, okay? Because oh. you do this beautiful. Is this slate that you're working no, on? No, it's sandstone. Sandstone. Okay. Arkansas Ooh. sandstone. And when I first collect it, it's muddy and nasty and I don't really know what's happening with it until I power wash and then it's like this is so pretty. <laughs> and then is that when you see something sometimes and decide what you want to paint on there? Yes. And awesome. that's a very good point. Sometimes mm -hmm. it just tells me, yeah. you know, what it needs to be. The one we're looking at now I love oh, is the, the lion and the lamb. And it reminds me of that Bible verse. verse yeah, the lion and the lamb shall mm -hmm. lay down yes. together. And that's wonderful. Now, did, yeah. you, did you see this when you, when you washed that sandstone? Did you see, I think this looks like a lion. There was <laughs> 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 Maybe. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's, it's a big stone. It is. So, um, yeah, I just sort of, this here, this, this right here. Indian, um, Native American, sorry, um, it, that marble color is actually in the rock. So it was so easy to just have the face come out. Oh, it's that so beautiful. is beautiful. That must be a fun part of your art, just to discover what the rock looks like. Yes, it tells you. It tells you. I love it. Yeah. Um, and Marty, you were also telling us in the commercial, you have some art, but your sister also has a beautiful piece that Kelly and I were learning about. Tell yeah. us about the metal. Yes, the metal is the new hot thing right now because artists can actually transfer their work to a piece of metal. It's already got a thing in the back that you can hang it on. You don't have to mat it. You don't have to frame it. It's the boat? Yeah. Sinjin, this boat right here is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, That's my gosh. That's a metal piece. I wish they could see this in real life, Kelly, because oh, it's, it's so vivid. It's so vivid. It yes, really yeah. is. Yeah. Um, the uh. metal is cool, like you said, because it's not going to weather. It's not going to buckle. Yeah. And that is just beautiful. It lasts forever. She also did some of the other Tuscany pieces that we have represented here. And like I said, there's also two galleries. Um, Branson West Gallery is represented and Kimberling City Table Rock gallery is represented. Okay. I love that. Should we just maybe start on this side and let's work our way over just talking about some of the pieces? Sure, yeah. Because this is, there's also jewelry. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, I love, there's all different types of art yep. that you can yeah. explore. There's something for everybody. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's start with this piece over here. Okay, this here? Yes. Paul Long is an artist in Branson West. He's also a CPA. Oh Are you goodness. serious? So wow. He's scratching both sides of his brain. Yes, he is. He Left is. and right brain. Yeah. Love it. So he actually used Photoshop. I'm sure this was an, an image of something at one time, but then he goes in and he doctors it and he just gets this pop of color, which just, just draws your eye to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so beautiful. Yeah. And here is a really pretty piece. Jan Rosenberg from the Table Rock Art Gallery wraps her own. Jewelry, it's very affordable and it's is very it? pretty. Yeah, that, that is she gorgeous. Does an, an awesome job. What kind of stone is that? Do we know? Mm. We don't know. Oh, that's, that's okay. all right. I love uh, the intricacy here that she does. That yes. is just gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. And I also love the sculpture right here. Well, what's so cool on this tour is we have two galleries that are nothing but sculpture. Uh -huh. Sculptors? Yes, I, that works for me. Yeah, okay. Sculptors. And Janet Jordan is this piece, and she actually, this is her smaller piece. She has huge elephants giraffes, she has a rhinoceros, she has gorgeous, gorgeous uh, sculptors that she sculpts. Yeah, I is love that song. sculptors song. or sculptures? Well, this is a sculpture. Sculpture, yeah. Okay. And she's, she's a sculptor. sculptor. Yes. yes. There yes. we go. Now we've we got, got it. it. We did it. Well, now let me ask you, that, that's wood? Is that wood? No. What is that? It's, it's, she's actually poured this. She starts oh. with the resin and then she oh. takes it to a foundry and they pour this. But it looks like wood. It, it does. does. And I hadn't touched it. So that is just gorgeous. And it's very heavy. And then moving down, we saw your piece, The Lion and the Lamb, and then we see a beautiful fish. Yeah. This is Mary Phillips, and she is the owner and operator of the Branson West Art Gallery. And 
I mean, if you look at the detail, it's mm -hmm. like it must have taken her years to do. But wow. she does all kinds of fish, and then she does prints. So let's see. Okay, and of course we were drawn to the two. Well, we can go to the far side. The, the uh, sunflowers are beautiful down there. Yes, um, yes. We always love those. Jeremy I do. I grow them. Sometimes. I love them. You do? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It reminds yeah. me of I was born in Kansas, and it kind of reminds me of of home and you know the growing fields. up. Yeah, in the fields. Yeah, absolutely. And the elephant is gorgeous. Isn't it neat? Yes. Yeah. Just you just you love elephants anyway. Yeah. What I love about artists too, Kelly. If you look at that piece, mm -hmm. look at that. If an, if an artist can capture the eyes, you that capture the soul. Because right. I'm telling you, when I look at that elephant, I'm almost like telling, hearing his story, uh -huh. almost. You know, yeah, I can yeah. tell what that elephant's been through. Exactly. You know? Same thing on her piece here uh, with uh, Native American. And I'm noticing that he has one blue eye and one brown eye. Uh, I love that. That's just really a nice detail there. Um, so now, Marty, are these pieces uh, for sale or are they just to look at? Nope. They're, everything is for sale in every gallery studio tour. And how nice is that? Because we don't know what's out there. Yeah. And yeah. so much talent in this area. In, in our area, in just Stone County, from Galena to, to uh, Kimberling City, we have eight different studios. That's oh amazing. So, and Christmas is coming. Oh, and yeah. that is true. Great gift ideas. Yeah. What is great about it too, Kel, like you said, we had so many great, we have so many great artists, but you can give something that's original that uh -huh. nobody else is going to have. That's right. So it's a great Christmas gift because you can give this piece of art that means something. It's here local. Yes. And nobody else is going to have that piece of art and it's special to you and your family. And it's, it's a great gift yeah. idea. It's great. And you know, I don't even have represented here is we have a pottery studio mm -hmm. that you can also go on and a fiber artist who does everything woven. So oh, there's that's great. plenty of stops. That's great. And you were mentioning that. You get to a certain age where you do have everything that you want. And, mm -hmm. and so it's nice to get a, something that's different and unique. Now, how can people get more information about this, Marty? Okay. You can go on Google or on the Internet and Google Stone County Studio Tour. And it'll give you a map. And it'll also give you all of the different options. Okay. Stone County Studio Tour. Yes. That looks like a great thing to do. And that is when? That's this Saturday. This Saturday. And it's 10 to 5. 10 to 10 5. 10 to 5. And what's going to be perfect, wow. Kelly, guess what? Yes. Weather might not be the best, so it's a great day to take little mm -hmm. trips, see the Ozarks, yep. stay inside in these galleries, mm -hmm. buy some art, support local artists, which we do and we love. Yes. And I love this map. They've made it really easy. Yeah, they have. They really have. To do the tour. Yeah, Stone County Art Studio Tour. Check that out. Great way to spend your weekend, take your family, a uh, lot of great things to see, and maybe even purchase a gift or two for yourself or someone else. I, that's what I tend to do. When I'm Christmas shopping for others, I end up buying more for myself. For that's what yeah. happens sometimes. Yeah. We all do that. Yeah. Thanks, Marty. Marty, so thank much. you so much. Appreciate it. So all talented. Right. We'll be back with more Ozark Fox AM right after this. Don't go yes. anywhere. You are so talented. Yes, you, make you me feel are. So no. Barrier, because you're so good. You've got